Hello, I am Lokesh Kabra, R&D Manager for MIPI Controllers at Synopsys. Today, I will give you a demonstration of our Designware UFS Host Controller and Unipro Controller along with Toshiba's UFS Storage Device Prototyping Platform. This demonstration highlights Synopsys' proven system level interoperability that lowers the risk of integrating Designware UFS Host Controller and Unipro Controllers into your mobile SOC. Let's take a look at a block diagram of the system we are showing today. This block diagram shows a typical use model of the UFS system for a mobile storage application. In this example, we will see communication between the UFS host and UFS device. The UFS host controller driver initiates SCSI commands. These SCSI commands are transferred to UFS host controller hardware over a PCI Express interface in our prototype system. The UFS host controller translates the commands into UPIU messages. In addition, the UFS host controller also initiates task management and device management commands as needed. These messages are then fed to the Unipro controller through the C port interface. The Unipro controller takes care of lane management, link power management and the flow control functionality. The test M5 interface also called TMPI acts as a file layer in this prototype system. It takes care of 8B, 10B encoding and serialization. In an ASIC implementation, the TMPI will be replaced with M5 type 1. Then the serialized data is transferred to the device side over RF cables. The serial data arrives at the device side TMPI for deserialization and 8B, 10B decoding. The Unipro controller on the device side does a similar job as on the host side. Then the UTP layer receives the SCSI command and carries out the SCSI read-write operation by accessing the non-volatile memory as needed. It then creates a UPIU response for the host. Finally, the response gets transferred to the host side to complete the operation. Let's take a look at the prototyping system we will use in this demo. The main board is a Synopsys Apps 51T FPGA based prototyping system and it has a UFS host controller which includes a UFS application layer, Unipro controller and TMPI running on the FPGA. This is the daughter card with SMA connectors and RF cables and it is connected to the FPGA containing the UFS host controller. This is a Toshiba's UFS storage device prototyping platform supporting UFS version 1.1 which we will connect to via the cables and TMPI interface. We will now execute read and write commands on the terminal. First let me initiate a write of 32 kilobytes block of data to the UFS device. Then we will read the same block of data from the UFS device. The test was completed and we will now check the data we received from the device. The demo shown is operating in high speed mode with single lane support as required by JDEC UFS standard specification. You have just seen a demo of the proven system level interoperability of Synopsys Designware UFS host hardware platform with Toshiba's UFS storage device prototyping platform. This reduces the integration risk of JDEC UFS interface in an SOC. To learn more about our MIPI product portfolio, please visit the Synopsys website.